Good evening and welcome to the 504. She was the first woman to sign with No Limit Records. That was rapper Mia X. She's hanging out with us tonight and has so much to catch us up on. I'm Siva Turk and the 504 starts right now. When you talk about women who do it all, you're talking about Mia X. She has sold over 75 million records. She cooks, she acts, and she has so much stuff going on now. Her amazing career and new projects, and she's here to catch us all up on it tonight on the 504. So welcome to the show. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> you are hilarious. You look amazing. Can I say that first off? Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so what are you working on these days? I know you've got the cookbook, the acting, the everything. Let's take a flashback to the moment when you shot that video. What was going through your head then? Where were you in life? Hmm. Oh my goodness, that was so long ago. Um, I was just about standing my ground as a woman. Yeah. You know, in a sea full of testosterone because it was so many men. Right. And writing rhymes and we had that, uh, you know, energy charged music. So I just wanted to keep up. And, and how did you even get into rapping and wanted to rap? I got into rapping in 1984. Manny Fresh and I, actually, we were in a group. We were really? young kids, and we were in a group. We had a DJ crew, and we used to throw dances around the city. Uh -huh. And um, I used to do a lot of battle rapping. All right. But it wasn't until 92 when I put my first record out. And that's when it really, you really shut it down. I understand, though, you didn't even have a real contract with Master P because you guys were friends, no, right? No, we didn't have a contract. We did it, you know, just on a handshake. Like, you know, I promise I will not run all around and record with other people and violate the standard recording agreements. If you promise to pay me what you say is you going to pay me. <laughs> You're kidding. And that's how it went and down. And that's pretty much the way it went down. And so, you know, I came on um, as an artist yeah. and, and, and a writer. And, you know, together we did 75 million records oh worldwide. Oh, my goodness. That is legendary. And so when you think back on that time, do you have a favorite record, a favorite moment? What do you remember? Um, I have a favorite moment, and it was when I met Charlie Wilson. Mm. I, um, my mom's favorite record was Yearning for Your Love by the Gap Band. Okay. And I went to Snoop's house to cook some chicken and macaroni. <laughs> what? Because that's Snoop's favorite chicken wings and, you and macaroni. Cook it back then. So I went to cook okay. him some. And Uncle Charlie was there, and I was like, My mom loves Yearning for Your Love. If I rewrite it, can we record it? He said, Let's do it now. Stop it. And boom, we did it. Man, you have so many great moments, so I'm glad that one stands out to you. Yes. All right, but you kind of moved away from the music now. You told me you still do it for fun. Yes, I do it for fun, and I do it for exercise because I still tour. Mm. So, you know, you have to keep your win and your stamina and your moves up. But um, I retired when I was 29. My parents died, and my children were still young. Mm. So... I wanted to be a mom because when I was working, my mom was like the mom. Yeah. I was going all the time. So I had to step up and make sure that everything continued to run the way she had run it. Mm -hmm. And my sister was also getting ready to graduate from college and she's a doctor now. So Oh right. Well you did your yeah. thing then. I all right, Mama Mia. Me. Yeah, <laughs> Mama Mia. <laughs> and so you have so many nicknames. It's Mia Young, right? Yes. And then Mia X. Where yes. did that come from? Well, because in the eighties my rap name was Polo B. Okay. I have Manny Fresh sworn to secrecy, so I, I can't tell you anything about polo. I just wore a lot of polos. Really? Yes. <laughs> um, and then when I got ready to cut the record, I cut the record and really didn't even have a name. And I was like, I don't even want to think of a name. So, X. Wow. That but it's it. catchy. Mm -hmm. And then I learned today you have one that involves Sheba. What's that one? What's yes, you saying? Brothers respect me like Sheba. <gasps> you know I'm stealing it. <laughs> you got to. <laughs> Queen Sheba was everything. I absolutely love it. All right, so since you just do the music for fun, I know you're doing the cooking seriously. We're going to get to that a little bit later on. But it sounds like you've always been cooking. Yeah, since I was like five, my grandmother had me in the kitchen. Butter and toast. She used to cook dinners and sell them. Fridays and Saturdays. Mm -hmm. She also cooked for people and cleaned for people and took me to work with her while my mom was in school. So yeah, I've been cooking all my life since 75. That's right. And you had the restaurant. Yes. All right. So yes. you kind of turned this into a business. You like that side of it. 
I love it. Well, cooking calms my nerves. You know really? how some people need uh, shopping therapy? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm a kitchen therapist. therapy, it works for me, you know, to get up if I'm mad and uh -huh. chop on stuff and whip on some pots and make something really good. Once you create a masterpiece, everything goes away. That's nice. I wish cooking did that for me. We might actually get somewhere in life. <laughs> All right, so you got the music. You got the cooking. Let's talk about acting. You got some great gigs coming up there. So, um... I did East Bound and Down. Yeah. That was so funny. Really? Will Ferrell Fun. produced it. Mm -hmm. um, and it was Danny McBride. He was Kenny F. Powers. And it was a really, really great series. So that was the last thing I did. And it was so awesome and so funny. But they cussed. I thought I cussed in my music. But girl, they cussed so much. <laughs> I was like, oh, my goodness. You found somebody who could give you a run for your money. Man, I was just standing there like, are you serious? That is hilarious. They cut up. But yes, I have uh, six films under my belt. Wow. And, and you like series. the acting side of things. I like it because it's, it's pretty cool, you know, to step outside of yourself mm -hmm. and, and just do it. There you go, and you get to pick up a character. All day. Nice. All right, well, I understand locally they will be honoring you at the Big Easy Music Awards. Yes. That's so exciting. Yes, the Music Heritage Award. I am so psyched about that. Um, I think it's a... A big old, big old plus for New Orleans hip hop mm -hmm. for them to consider me for this particular award. And I'm just happy that they recognize I've been putting it down 31 years. Right. You know, and I love my city, and I'm, I'm just hoping that they start to acknowledge more hip hop artists because we do a lot for the city. We might not put it on the the big screen or might call, not call everybody to come and see what we're mm -hmm. doing, but you know, we check for the city. And what about women in hip hop locally? Do you have any favorites? Do you find there's a lot on the scene? You know what? So to me, New Orleans have always had the most talented female artists. Oh yeah? Yeah, to All me. Right. I mean, because you know, we have that originality thing going on. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a chance to step out and be everywhere. And I saw a lot of similarities with ladies in other places, mm -hmm. but with us, we kind of do our own thing. My favorite right now is 3D Nati. That is okay. my baby. Oh, that is my <laughs> baby. <laughs> I love that you didn't have this date. You definitely have a favorite. What are you? What advice do you give to women in the industry? As you said, it's so many men. This is a business. Yeah. First, always a business. You don't get in this industry to look for a boyfriend. Mm. Don't get in this industry to get diamonds. Don't get in this industry for pretty pictures. Mm -hmm. This is a business. And if you want to maintain and sustain, you have to treat it as such. All right. Well, you learn how to maintain and sustain, and that's why you're here tonight. All right, but you're not going anywhere. No. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> to keep up with Mia online, make sure you guys check out her Twitter. It's at the real Mia X, and you guys can visit her Instagram page, the Mama Mia X. Well, Mia is sticking around. After the break, she's going to whip up something from her upcoming cookbook.